Hey everyone, so in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this completely free plugin for Blender that allows us to create really awesome dynamic camera movement. So anytime I need to render an animation, whether it's for something to just throw up on Twitter or YouTube, or if I'm even working on my demo reel, I like to do all of my lighting and rendering setup inside of Blender. I just find it a whole lot easier to use as an animator. I can just jump in here and quickly create some really nice looking renders pretty quickly. And one of the benefits of using Blender are the free plugins you can find online. So let's actually go ahead and jump inside of Blender and take a look at this really cool camera plugin. So I've got Blender open up here and I'm using the Spider-Man animation that I created in my Spider-Man body mechanics animation walkthrough. You can find the whole four hour process on my YouTube channel. But again, I like to throw things into Blender so I can quickly create some renders for it. So what I have here is the Spider-Man animation and a very simple just camera movement setup for this. So if I go ahead and play this, you can see we have Spider-Man kind of flipping there. And then we have just a basic kind of just pull in on the camera here, kind of just following Spider-Man's movement here and kind of just ending on a bit more of a close up shot. So again, it's just a really simple camera animation. If I select my camera here, you can see I just have a couple keyframes in here to kind of describe this action. And if we want to, I can turn on the rendered mode so we can actually see a bit closer what this render might end up looking like. So something that I like to do with my camera animation is add a little bit of dirt or almost noise in there to make it feel a little bit more dynamic and almost get that sort of like handheld feeling to the camera animation. So we could just stick with this very simple kind of zoom in on the camera, that would work fine. But let's take a look at how we can use this plugin to create some nice dynamic camera animation. So I'm gonna make sure I put this link in the description below, but this is where you can download the camera Shakeify plugin for Blender. Again, it's completely free to use. You'll see that you need at least uh, Blender 2.91 or later to use this. So that's something to keep in mind if you are using an older version of Blender now might be the time to upgrade and download the later version. So really what this plugin allows you to do is very easily add some dynamic camera shake to your camera animation. It's something that I've kind of hand animated quite a bit in the past. And it's one of those things that can be a little bit tedious, a little bit time consuming, and it's a little bit frustrating to get it to feel exactly right. You're constantly kind of working in the graph editor, kind of working with your curves to try to get some type of like noise on the camera, but you'll see once you download this plugin, let's go over here to file and I'll just show you once you download it, where you'll find it in your preferences. So just wanna to go to add-ons and then type in, start typing in Shakeify and you'll see it here. You wanna make sure you hit the check mark on it to actually load it in. And let's go ahead and select our camera. I'm gonna to go to the camera properties here. Let's scroll down and you can see we have our camera Shakeify and you'll see how easy it is to get started with this plugin. So what we'll do is we'll just hit the plus icon and immediately that's going to drop in a new layer here and it's gonna add some camera shake to our movement. Now, if I play this, you'll see we're getting a little bit of camera shake. It's not exactly what I want. You can see it's adding a nice sort of dynamic feeling to the camera shake, but really I feel like it's a little bit too much. So what we could do is play with the influence as well as the scale to kind of bring down the amount of camera shake that we're getting on this. You can see we can dial that down and you can see it's gonna reduce that camera shake just a little bit. You can also adjust things like the scale and if we were to increase this to something like 50, you'll kind of really see the difference of what the scale will make. But I find that influence works well in kind of adjusting the amount of shake that you want. Now, one really awesome thing with this plugin is the shake that you wanna create. So you can see we have this shake dropdown and right now it's by default set to investigation. We can open that up and you'll see you have all this different type of camera shake for very specific types of camera movement. So you can see we have like a handy cam run. So get the feeling that a person is actually running. Now, obviously this shake is way too much for what we would actually need. But again, we could dial down the influence and try to get something that feels a little bit better. And I do feel like the sort of run feeling that we're getting with this is not exactly what we want, but you can see we can play around with some of these values and get something a little bit more subtle with that camera shake. But you can see by bringing down the influence there, we're able to get a really nice subtle shake to this camera movement. It makes it feel just a little bit more kind of dynamic and less kind of CG of like a very perfect kind of pan in that we had before. So it's kind of just adding a little bit of dirt to this. And again, we can just play around with some of the other things 
could do like the close up and see kind of what the sort of shake that we're getting for this. This you can see is a little bit more subtle, less kind of like just jittery shake that we were getting before and definitely something more contained. You have something like bike on gravel. <laughs> Obviously that's way too much at a value of one. So again, we can play around with these these values. But yeah, this, this bike on gravel is definitely a little bit too much. Do you like spaceship shake? That might be something that kind of feels a little bit cool for for this. But you can see by playing around with this influence, we can really kind of experiment with the shake we're getting. And we can also key these values. So if we wanted to play around with camera shake on very specific parts of an animation, let's say like we wanted to add camera shake when he actually lands on the ground. So like all this at the beginning will not have camera shake, or maybe it'll have a little bit of camera shake, but the influence will be pretty low. So maybe we could bring it to like a value of like 0.10 at the beginning of this whole section. And then maybe right here, right when he starts to kind of reach his hand down, we'll hit the key icon here to add a keyframe. And then maybe we'll scrub forward to like 51 or so, and then bring up the shake value a little bit to something like 0.3. So we can kind of play with like getting shake on the actual plant there. We might actually bump up that shake. Maybe at frame 46, we'll bring that up to like a value of 45, 0.45 or so. Something like that. And then we could kind of continue the shake kind of as it pulls in. And then maybe set another keyframe on the influence and then kind of dial down the shake as it sort of gets closer to the end a little bit. So again, you can play around with the influence that you're getting, but this is a really awesome way to really get some nice camera shake in there in just a few minutes. You can play around with the keying values. And if you wanna have very specific camera shake, really harsh camera shake, maybe for something like a character, you know, jumping and landing on the ground really roughly, you would wanna have like a little bit of camera shake on that land. You can use this plugin to very easily add that in there. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. So if you're doing any type of rendering inside of Blender, be sure to download this plugin to very easily create your camera shake and get some nice dynamic camera movement. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content.